What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. Welcome to iDevice Central channel. In today's video, I have some good news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 16.5 and earlier. It looks like Apple patched a couple of exploits or at least some vulnerabilities in the newest version in 16.5.1 and those vulnerabilities might get released and could be usable for a jailbreak. This video is brought to you by Passive Activation Unlock, a software that allows you to unlock your device if you forgot your password and Apple ID for your device or you accidentally set those or maybe you created an account that is a throwaway for applications, you don't remember the password anymore. If your device is locked in any way or it's unable to activate and it says could not activate or activation error, this could definitely help you fix the device. Definitely check the program out in the link below, it does support Windows as well as Mac OS and a free trial is available. To get the Windows version you press in here and that's about it. They currently have a promotion as well so definitely check it out. You should know that this does support iPhones and iPads as well, so if you have a tablet this does support it. So definitely check it out below. A couple of days ago Apple released iOS 16.5.1 and iPadOS 16.5.1. With this release we have only two vulnerabilities patched, a kernel vulnerability and a WebKit vulnerability by the looks of it. The CVE 2023-32434, this one is a kernel vulnerability and it appears to be quite powerful. The description provided by Apple is a bit vague, it says an integer overflow was addressed with improved input validation, it doesn't mean much. The impact is a little bit bigger, it says an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. And Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited against versions of iOS released before 15.7. Now this vulnerability seems to have been patched in 16.5.1, so it could be that the vulnerability works on iOS 16.5 and lower, but they know that it's been used on iOS 15.7 and lower because this is part of a malware that was circulating around since 2019. The malware itself could actually exfiltrate files and whatever so this was part of a targeted attack at some point and now Apple did patch them. But fortunately this could be usable for jailbreak as well, a kernel vulnerability capable to run arbitrary code is definitely powerful enough and if they did use it for malware purposes it could be possible that it's powerful enough for jailbreak as well. And then we have a WebKit vulnerability, so basically Safari, and this one is also pretty powerful, it says processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. This was also used in the same attack, so yeah quite interesting in here. The Hacker News publication over here posted this article in which they detailed the two vulnerabilities and how they were used and according to them they say here quote This includes a pair of zero days that have been weaponized in a mobile surveillance campaign called Operation Triangulation. This has been active since 2019. The exact threat actor behind the activity is not known. But it's actually mentioned that these two vulnerabilities patched by Apple were actually included in that. So apparently it does support quite a lot of versions and this is quite powerful. It says in here that this includes interacting with the device's file system, including file creation, modification, exfiltration and removal, managing processes like listing and termination, extracting keychain data, credentials, monitoring and stuff like that. So quite a lot of things that could be done. Also the patch by Apple is basically available now, so if you want to make sure you don't get this vulnerability or anything like this, you can update to 16.5.1 if you're not interested in jailbreak, but this could be the key for a jailbreak. Right now iOS 16.5 and 16.0 up to 16.5 those do not have a jailbreak available, at least on 812 plus devices. Sure, you can use Pelrain and all the Checkmate compatible devices support it, but the Checkmate compatible devices are basically the iPhone 10 and lower, which is basically many years old. At this point, the newer devices are the focus and those are not supported by any jailbreak at the moment. These vulnerabilities over here could be useful for that, however I would not recommend you to stay if you have any sensitive information on your device or if you're a public person or stuff like that, somebody that could be targeted by such attacks. Because these are basically zero click or one click attacks, you don't have to do much to get infected by this kind of vulnerability. So if you think you are a person at risk with this kind of vulnerabilities, then definitely keep your device updated to the latest version. However, if you are the average Joe like me and many other people, you could probably use these for jailbreak purposes if they get used by the jailbreak community. So you should stay below iOS 16.5.1. So that's basically it, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.